Sorry, friend. Ladies and gentlemen, we are sorry for the disruption. Leonardo da Vinci said, out of all the sciences, art is the queen of communication. And now, more than ever in this day and age, communication of the truth and of the experience of humanity during these times of catastrophic climate change is needed now more than ever. The truth is that any new oil expansion is a death sentence for the future. It's a death sentence for the younger generations, and it's a death sentence for the nature that has directly inspired art for tens of thousands of years. Our government is still lying about the impacts of climate change. We are headed beyond 1.5 degrees to a world of two degrees warming or more. This will mean over 20% of the land mass of this planet becoming uninhabitable. We are here beneath this magnificent, beautiful painting today to join the dots. We are facing an era of multiple breadbasket failure. Crops are failing now all across the planet. India has stopped exporting any wheat. The Po River in Italy is drying up. This is Leonardo da Vinci's own country here. It provides the country with a huge amount of agriculture. Our future is bleaker than ever, and still our leaders are lying to us. We have a government which has essentially become a climate Judas. It has betrayed the younger generations. It has betrayed those in the global south right now who are facing the worst impacts of climate change. And so we are here today to say no new oil. Sorry. Could we um, speak to the uh, director of the RA at all, please? No, you can't do it. Over to you. You've got... Sorry, you can't. I'm an art student and I deeply respect this painting and all paintings. More, more so than I respect these paintings, I respect the power that art has to change the world, and it's that power that I speak to today. No painting in this gallery is worth more than the life of my six month old nephew. No sculpture in this gallery will be able to see the babies starving as their mothers can no longer feed them as they starve themselves from famine. Nurses are lining up in this country outside food banks, not outside galleries. If this gallery and the director of this gallery believes that art truly has the power to change the world, then I ask them to close their doors along with all major galleries in this country and demand that they will not reopen until the government commits to no new oil and gas. The government has not only made a promise, but they have a duty to protect us from the catastrophic effects of climate breakdown happening in this country and all over the world. I have no, no future. There is no scope for me to follow my calling as a young artist when I have no I'm just filming. I'm just filming.